Idea number three is to answer common questions. Okay, YouTube calls these hygiene videos. Common question videos are great for Facebook. You could come up with a weekly segment, for example, where people know that every, you know, day, you know, like let's say, uh, let's just come up with an idea. So let's say, for example, you're going to do it on Fridays, right? Like, okay, what if you did Freaky Real Estate Friday, right? As in just an example, okay? Everybody knows the concept of Freaky Friday. I, at least I think they do, right? There's a movie, there's a little Dicky song. So you do like freaky real estate Friday. I don't know, right? There's different ideas. Like um, I talked to a guy yesterday and he's, he started a new series called 60 Seconds with Mortgage Mike, right? And where it's just, people are gonna start expecting every week that series with him. So could you start doing that, right? And for Facebook, this is a great, answer common questions is a great one. So here's some examples, okay? Here's some examples. Like if you talk about buyer questions, right? What does a realtor actually do for me? How much does it cost to buy a house? What's P-I-T-I, what's in an escrow account? You know, these are all pretty common type of buyer questions, you know? Uh, and there's obviously a million more. You're the one having conversations with buyers every day. You know the kind of questions that they're asking, right? So anytime somebody asks you a question, jot that down on your notepad or whatever, and then go shoot a video about that. Hey, you know, I was out showing a client earlier. He asked me, what is P-I-T-I? Right. We were talking about the payment and what does that actually mean and what's included in that. And I just wanted to share it here because I figure if he has that question, you know, somebody else probably does too. And boom, give the answer. Hey, if you, if you know, if you want to talk about anything real estate related, if you have questions or you want to know what's the next steps for you to get started in real estate, hit me up. I'd love to talk to you about that. Right. And you got a quick call to action. That's an easy, like two minute video, you know, and you can get people sharing that. And it's a lot of great, great content, great positioning pieces. So again, I'm sellers, you know, what's the MLS? What costs are there involved with selling? You know, what's a seller lease back? Especially right now, right? seems like everybody's getting a seller lease back for at least some period of time in order for sellers to make sure that they can find another house. You know, how do you find out my house? How do I find out my house's value or my home's value? Right, those are all kind of seller questions. All right, if you work with investors or you want to work with investors, you know, you can talk about some of these things. What areas are most desirable? Is it better to flip or hold in this market? Who's a good property management company? How do I find out my, my investment property's value? You know, um, if you don't want to work with investors, don't make investor content. Then you won't attract them, right? Make content for the people who you want to attract. Today, an epic video that anybody could make today and probably get some, at least some conversations, if not an actual client out of it, is to talk about how to actually move up in today's market, right? I mean, because everybody sees like, oh, it's a seller's market. If I sell my house in one day, how am I getting a new house? If you have some ideas and solutions around that and you talk about how you've already helped your other clients do that, that's an epic video, right? Because you know, people want to sell. The market in terms of listings is way down and people want to sell, but they are scared because they don't know where they're going to go or how that's going to work. If you can solve that fear, somebody's going to reach out to you today and want to talk to you about making that move for them, okay? All right, there's other people you can try to hit as well, right? Like renters, relocations, people buying second houses, um, all these kind of questions, right? For loan officers, you can talk about refinances and what is a 203K? Like, how can you buy a house that's kind of crappy and fix it up and use, you know, a loan to do the whole thing and never have to come out of pocket, right? All these are things that people that aren't dealing with real estate and mortgages on a daily basis, they don't know a lot of this stuff, you know? Um, it can come as second nature because you're an expert, right? You're an expert. You deal with this on a daily basis. You know all the lingo, the code words, the, um, what do you call them, the acronyms, you know, all you know what all that stuff means, but like buyers don't, right? And so you can, you can bring them up a little bit more to your level by sharing that stuff and being the person that provides that, you know, be the person that provides that information to them. Yeah, make content around your ideal customer. Exactly, right? Exactly. You're gonna, you know, your videos, or who you're going to attract. I'll give you a perfect example. In Facebook ads, when I run Facebook ads, I never talk about first-time homebuyer grants, low credit programs available. I don't talk about that stuff because when you talk about that down payment assistance is available, you get people who need down payment assistance. And you know, in the end of the day, that's not my ideal client, right? My ideal client got a fat savings account or they're going to sell their house and use the equity to buy a new house, right? I don't want somebody that's like a renter with no money in the bank. It's not my ideal client. 
So you got to talk to, you know, definitely in, in all these questions and all these scenarios, you know, if there's somebody that you don't want to work with, don't make content for that type of people. <laughs> you know, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty easy. Yes. Um, number three, common questions. YouTube calls common questions like FAQs. They call them hygiene videos, hygiene videos, meaning that they should be put on your channel frequently. You know, just like hygiene has to be done frequently, right? And, um, but they make amazing Facebook posts as well. You're going to get people to share your content. You're going to help people elevate a little bit more, become more knowledgeable, right? Where they can actually make a decision. Sometimes people are stuck in indecision because they're scared. They don't have enough answers. You mm -hmm. might answer the question today that has solved somebody's problem. And they've been wanting to figure out their next steps. And now all of a sudden you just like open the door for them, you know?